Hey, how's it going there, guys? Not that you can tell me. I hope you hear everything I say because the wind is coming from behind the camera, so it should be okay. Elton McFall here, also known as uh, Retro Old School. And man, I thought this was a very good time to start a walking video, as I often do that as a last minute decision, as I just do it now because although it's not rush hour, it's after 1 p.m., there is not a lot of traffic going on here at the uh, foot of the Jacques Bridge, which is right here, but actually you can really see more part of it down there. And uh, this street right here is called De Lormier, Rue De Lormier. And uh, it's usually a bit busier than that. And today is the, uh, the last day of March, 2020. Not turning out to be a good year. Okay, where's that? Where's that Timmy's cup there? I put down for a second so I could do this intro. The goddamn thing floated away. Fuck! I was gonna throw it out. I don't know where the hell it went now. I'm actually here. Also, I walked up here because actually I walked all the way from my place. I'm in the Ville Marie borough now, but I walked all the way from, all the way from my place in Hochelaga. Hochelaga is this way. That building over there. That's the uh, Quebec Provincial Police. Headquarters, the Sûreté du Québec, also known as the SQ. The Lormier Boulevard, or I should say road, street, continues down way northward. The wind before was coming from the north-northeast, now it's coming from the south. So I'm going to try to make this video going along with the wind because it's pretty gusty. I often get lost in my own thoughts is that I wanted to get a rig or two, a big rig or two or semi coming around this curve here because I love curves. But uh, can you believe that's a Volvo? Crazy. Crazy. Imagine, they used to make some of the ugliest cars you can imagine, but hey, I gotta admit it, they were fucking made durable. There's a big rig, but he's going the other way. Going on the Jacques Cartier, Pont Jacques Cartier, Jacques Cartier Bridge, and heading to the South Shore and beyond, maybe to the US of A. Yeah. Yeah, so what the fuck, uh, what do we, uh, no, what happened to that cup? Anyway, I'm gonna cross right here. Like I said, I figure I'm gonna to try to go along with the wind. And oh, it's not, it's pretty warm almost when there's no wind. I'm wearing the winter coat though because of the windshield factor. There's, there's my cup and managed to cross this, the road quicker than me. I don't wanna pollute, you know? Remember the expression, give a hoot, don't pollute. I thought that was a garbage can. Oh well, here we go, perfect. Done. <laughs> Well, I'm a stranger here in this place called Earth. I was sent down here to discover its worth of your little blue planet, Earth from the sun. Come on, baby, show me how it's done. -na 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 -na. Now, if you're about my age or older, you'll know that song. That's a that was a Canadian rock hit by the Five Man Electrical Band. Yes, sir, kind of a funny place for a hydrant, though. No? Anyway, uh, well, there are some positives to the COVID-19. Number one, less cars, less planes, less trucks, less everything that we all love. A lot of you, like me, as transportation, well, it makes for less pollution, less stress, less headaches, you know, less consumerism. Oh, there's a big rig there. Where is it? Let's get a shot of her anyway. Oh, nice looking international on top of that. Dig it. Good looking rig. Very nice. Of course, you know me, I love chrome. Oh, it's funny I should film that truck. You see the company name? Skeleton. Which sounds like my name. That's amazing, Skeleton. Right on. And for some reason, that made me think of Helter Skelter. Okay, the wind's coming against from the east there. Uh, what I wanted to do, I figured I'd never done before, is I figured I would uh, run, run. Run, Forrest, run! Figured I would uh, make a walk-in video uh, continuing down here in the uh, blue-collar sector. I uh, hear a Harley Davidson in the background. There used to be a Sûreté du Québec police car parked here. I think maybe it's more during the summer when there's the most amount of traffic. Usually parked right here. Right here on Dead Man's Curve there or whatever. And... Uh, as a nice looking caddy, good looking GM junk. 
If it's not junk, please tell me. Please correct me. As far as I know, Cadillacs for like decades were... Uh, well, not decades, but anyway, a lot of them were junk. Look at that. Look how bare that is. It's like the fuck apocalypse. This is the end. Beautiful friend, the end. Da -na -na -na. Yeah, you see the cruiser would be parked right there. Wah. And there she is. There's the entrance. One time back in 2007, I walked all across this bridge. I was very proud of myself because uh, I'm kind of a pussy, you know, and I, I've always been afraid of heights. So uh, it's, not, it's pretty daunting to walk across that, actually. Let's give you a nice perspective there. Hey, that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll make that my thumbnail, eh? What do you think? Anyway, uh, I feel for a lot of you who've uh, lost your jobs, you've lost your uh, investments, security, and I hope at least that uh, you're enjoying yourselves or whatever it is you're doing. Because, you know, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Fucking colorless cars! Fuck! Nine fucking cars out of ten anywhere are colorless. It's fucking maddening. Look at this. I can't even cross here. I wanted to go over here. Where am I going to go now? Ah, whatever. We'll figure it out. I like these two guys talking here. You know, they're doing what I'm doing. They're thinking outside the box. Oh, that's nice. Well, you don't get more American than that, eh? Mobile gasoline, mobile oil. Oh, yeah, that's where I wanted to go, right over here. And it's funny to see that shitty, I hate those stupid fucking uh, Ford Transits or whatever it is, Mercedes Sprinter, because I filmed a Dodge Ram van here. Uh, oh, no, sorry, a Tradesman van from the 70s camper. It was parked right there. It'd be funny if it was the same guy who owned it, but not ha-ha funny, you know? Yeah, anyway, moving right along. So, let me think here. This entrance is connected to uh, Papineau. Yeah, Rue Papineau. So, if you want to take the bridge to go off island southbound, you got to go on Papineau. And you don't want to be on Papineau at rush hour. Oh my god, tabarnak. Holy shit, that's the... Hey, pour vous autres, les abonnés en français, francophone, je vous ai pas oublié, c'est sûr qu'il y aura une autre vidéo en français. Mais à cause de qu'est-ce qui se passe, à cause qu'on est limité de où on peut aller, ou pour longtemps, Je sais pas quand est-ce que ça va être. Fait que, euh, comme on dit en anglais, stay tuned. Anyway, I was just saying to my French subscribers that I'll be making another video as I do often in French or regularly. I just don't know when it is. And actually, I'm glad I brought that up because I don't know when I'm going to be making even the next walking video because I used to do these every day or most of it. But again, the fucking weather is just... Uh, not the weather. The weather is getting good. It's just uh, how far can I go? I don't, you know... Uh, I'm not well. I'm still recovering from my pericarditis. Hey, look at this Wolf uh, Mallow Street. Mallow et Dorion. Dorion, just like Dorion next to Vaudreuil. Yeah. But that's the thing, you know. So it's 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 see, uh, fuck. Even just walking to uh, De Maisonneuve and uh, Delormier before, where I stopped to get a Tim's coffee and a croissant. There, I mean, uh, oh yeah, yo yeah, I was like not feeling well. Couldn't wait to stop for a few minutes, give myself a break, cause uh, fuck, uh, it's just, uh, that's what a pericarditis is. It takes a lot out of you, you know, it's, it's a heart, and it's, it's a it's infection of the wall of your heart, but it just affects everything else. You're just malaise and feeling kind of dizzy, and then there's the meds, oh fuck, they're, they'll help you out, but they also make you feel like shit, you know? I think I filmed a little walk around here actually once, uh, it was, uh, last summer and there was a few old cars I saw not really valuable cars in, in, in any sense of that word but uh, still interesting to the 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 auto buff who's not narrow-minded and when I mean narrow-minded I mean the type of guys you know like they only like fucking BMWs they only like Corvettes you know what I mean some people are so narrow-minded they only like one type of car or two and that's it they don't fucking you know care about anything else okay so the winds coming from the north there I don't know if you're gonna hear everything I say, so whatever. We'll just turn the camera around there and do what we can do. Ugh. Yeah, it's like five, five, six degrees Celsius, but it's colder with the wind, you know. 
and I've, I've always been so much into meteorology that uh, I'll like check, uh, I, I won't even just check Environment Canada's website, I'll even check uh, Meteo Media, which is French for the weather, weather uh, channel. La Londe. La Londe et, et Cartier. Ouais. Euh, ouais, ouais, ouais. On va, euh, on va continuer par là. Mais ça va être pas. It's not going to be a very long walk either because again, I'm uh, still in recovery. I like that two one-way signs, not one two. In this fucking city, it's probably good to have two of everything: two street signs, two one-way signs, two stop signs. Because people are fucking stupid; they don't care. It's been like that for like the longest time. People they don't have patience. They don't wait. They don't stop at a. They don't slow down to stop at a yellow light. You know, blah blah blah. It's. Uh, fucking free-for-all up here it's one of many reasons why people fuck off from the city yes it's fun yes it has a lot of positive traits but it's gone downhill in a lot of ways too it's fucking annoying in a lot of ways you know that's what it is it is what it is I'll give you another example a lot of STM bus drivers you know the STM there my fa my favorite company Société Transport de Montréal the transit company well a lot of these bus drivers they don't even live in Montreal see they live in fucking Vaudreuil they live in Laval they live in Longueuil etc etc it's, it's just not unusual, you know. It is what it is. Anyway, happy to be moving along slowly there for you. What about next? I don't know. It's a little bit weird. Your affair. With your little girl, we're all up here. These bars, eh? Now we're uh, coming up to the Rue Ontario, which of course goes into my neighborhood in Hochelaga. Goes all the way past Vio on the eastern part, but on the western part, it goes all the way to uh, downtown this way, westbound to Wayon. Wayon, c'est le fuck Carlis. Past uh, Saint Urbain. Past Saint Herbs, as I call it. Well, I might as well, uh, I guess, float a little bit more there. Stop here and break it all in there. I like the different tones and colors and contrasts. I love contrast. Contrast! You know? Buzz. There we go. Oh, might as well give you a current price, price of gas since it's ridiculously cheap for this fucking city. Anyway, it's probably 84 cents there. Right, because the demand has dropped because of COVID-19. There it is. 84.8 Atta boy, enjoy the day there with your skate Well, you know what? Uh, shit, you see the wind's coming from the east Normally I would have continued that way because the sun is shining things nicely But again, it's a little too windy that way So uh, Fire Station 19, by the way, is right over there That brown building at the edge next to the light but uh, I'm going to go a little bit further. Uh, we're skateboarding, which I did once and I almost broke my fucking head. There. I think I've had a couple of people suggest I should get one of those. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't like scooters. I don't like scooters. I don't like mopeds. I like either a Harley Davidson, a big motorcycle, like a Goldwing, or a car. That's it. Now, there's no in between with me when it comes to, or, or bicycle. It's funny. I'm, I'm weird like that. Well, that reminds me, I'm thinking about taking Gloria for a, a visit to a vet that's near here, actually. Goulet, like Robert Goulet! Here, that gives you show you how windy it is, eh? But you know what I think? I'm either going to end this... I think I'm going to end this at the next light here, which is uh, Pepino. Because uh, I need a break now, I'm a little, uh, a little fucked up right now, so... Just a YouTuber, don't worry. <laughs> Take it easy, man. <laughs> I love how people look at me. I don't know why I have to explain everything. It's just the way I am, you know. I just, uh, I, that's how I am. I guess that's why I used to do customer service so well. I like to explain things. I like to be in detail. You know? Yeah, I'm going to cross here. And I'm going to go sit myself right on that wall for a few minutes. Oh, there's also detail, the name even was unique, and all the red. It looked like a 
successful restaurant and it's it's closed. It's closing. Anyway, uh, so uh, so I'm gonna stop here for a moment and at the same time record any trucks or other vehicles that cross the path of my lands. Well, not the most comfortable to sit on that wall like that, like fucking Humpty Dumpty waiting to fall over. So I figured, uh, why not walk another block there, a couple of blocks, and uh, show you guys not familiar with this area, Fire Station 19 a bit too. And also I got a better place to uh, to sit anyway. That's right across from there. So that's where I'll finish this shiz. Check out the sign. It's pretty weird, eh? Fabric means um, makers, I guess. Wah. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, not that many trucks now, that's for sure. Oh yeah, the little doggies. Get along, little doggy. Right on. So, see, now I got the camera facing me now because of the wind coming from the east, so that way you hear what I say. All I'm missing now is that little stick there. Mm -hmm. yep, tattoo shop there. Out of business, just like any unnecessary business. Those are the fucking brakes. What was I saying about scooters? Especially these older ones, they're so fucking annoyingly loud. My god, me, me. Annoying as fuck. Oh, I gotta tell myself to slow down. Thing is, I got these shoes a couple weeks ago, eh, or three weeks ago, I don't know anymore. And they're so damn comfortable, they're so light. Man, I can't believe it. I, did you ever like bought a pair of shoes and have been like maybe over a year since you bought one, maybe maybe even longer than that? And you've forgotten how, how what a really comfortable pair of shoes are like? That's how poor I am, fuck. <laughs> well, I keep saying check me out on Patreon, but it doesn't do a hell of a lot, frankly. I've only got four patrons. So it's not a lot, eh? See, this is where we were before. I could have sworn there used to be a nice mural here. Yeah. Oh, there you go, good old Sterling. Definitely sounds old. Uh, or is a Freightliner FL? Yeah, man. That's how a truck is supposed to sound. You know what I mean? Not that these guys need a plug or anything, eh? Windy it is. Fuck. Fuck. Well, my plan is to see after this, because if I keep going longer than this, I'm going to be in trouble. Then I'm really going to be paying for it. Like fucking later today and tomorrow, I'm going to be in pain and nausea. I feel like dizzy and all that shit. I don't feel like that is an amazing piece of architecture right there. Outstanding. And look at that contrast, this ugly little fucking stupid van. It looks like a goddamn toy. It looks so cheap. It's stupid looking. Silly! It's silly looking! So you see now we're walking back towards Delorme Street, La Rue de Delormier. And uh, Jacques Cartier Bridge is over there, completed in 1930. Oh yeah, we're picking a good time to stop this shit because... Oh no. Fucking wind though. Putain! Kind of stupid. I was showing the camera not even the right way. Like, now you can't hear anything. Like, ah, now you can hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, you got some artworks. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Actually, I just missed the 125. But uh, I figure hopefully my little dog over there will speak will be okay and uh, I'll be able to uh, chill out for a while. I catch the next bus. So actually I gotta take my glove off to see when is the next bus. It'll probably be one of these fucking things. And one of the things I hate about these buses more than ever is that the goddamn windows don't open. So you can't get fresh air in a fucking pandemic for fuck's sake. Last time I took a bus, I took an Arctic bus, articulated bus, 
for like just five minutes, all the fucking windows were open. Hallelujah. Fresh air, man. Oh, get along, little doggies. Uh, anyway, what I could tell you, anybody who's about my age or older, you all know what a fucking stupid one this is. Never ends, man. What's next? Asteroid is probably going to hit us. That's what I think. Or nuclear error. <laughs> Uh, let's see. 202. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're nearing the end of this little uh, thing. There's Fire Station 19, a very important station, large station. Look at this, eh? The city, the city is experts at putting fucking pylons and they're not doing anything. Ah, c'est la ville de Montréal, là. Ouais. Anyway, guys, so, uh, hope you enjoyed this shiz and, uh, stay safe and uh, be well and, uh, take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.